Excuse me. Special request from the bride. Would you mind bringing it to her? I have to assist an elderly guest. Sorry, I thought you were my sister. Thanks. This is exactly what I needed. I'm going to be all of you. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing, though? Animal names. What? Next animal has to begin with the last letter of the previous. But no repeats or you are out. Oh, OK. Octopus. Uh, sheep. Uh, peep. Um, polar bear. Oh. Rat. Uh, tarantula. Aardvark. Harper, you're up. Animal that starts with a K. Can she do it? Kangaroo. Yeah. Uh, octopus. I already said octopus. You did? You did. She's right. Fuck you, Dad. Oh, OK. I see how it's going to be. You're going to gang up on me? <laughs> yeah. Girl yeah. power. That's right. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I love this. You made this? Everything you see made by me. Wow, you do beautiful work. Thank you. Dad, can you buy me this necklace, please? It's so awesome and beautiful. She has great taste. Yeah, great expensive taste. Maybe for your birthday, kiddo. But that's eight months away. Come on, Dad. Harper. OK. Hey, uh, T. What do you think about the sandwich shop across the street for lunch? Sounds great. I'll meet you there. I'm going to look around. Okay, cool. Your daughter's so adorable. Oh, um, well, we're just dating. But you're right. She is the most adorable thing ever. <laughs> she loves this necklace. You can have the rest, Tina. I saw you eyeing it. Thank you. Here, how about I trade you? What is that? You got me the necklace? It's a back to school present. Another one. Mm. <laughs> I can't help spoiling her. Let's see. I really love it. Thanks, Tina. Thank you, Tina. Mm. So what do you want to do now? More shopping. More shopping. Uh. Brock asked me to move in with him. You're kidding. Already? Come on, you guys have been dating, what, six months? I mean, that is fast even by normal standards. Normal standards? You know what I mean? You are his first relationship since his wife passed. Yeah, well, he's my first relationship since Chad called off the engagement, so technically we're both on the rebound. Look, I just don't want you to get hurt. Huh, don't worry. I read all the Girlfriend of Widower blogs. They have blogs for that? Yeah, they have a blog for everything. They even have a checklist on how you know whether or not he's moved on. He barely mentions Lorna, and he hasn't posted on her memorial page since we got serious. OK, you check, and regularly. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. Anyway, you'll be happy to know I said no. I'm not moving in until we're ready to make a more serious commitment. Oh, my little sis. All grown up. <laughs> So Simon mm -hmm. is in hedge funds. No, that's Greg. Simon is in tech. OK, but Simon's wife, Petra, mm -hmm. is a podiatrist? That's close. She's a pediatrician. <laughs> ah. Relax. It's a party. It's not a standardized test. Everyone's going to love you. Oh, by the way, Joyce and her boyfriend, Dwayne, they're at the house. Your ex-mother-in-law? I thought they were in Europe. Yeah, I had the dates all screwed up. I thought they were coming back next week. Uh, they stopped by on their way home from the airport. Of course, I'm excited to meet her, finally. I find it completely puzzling. He plans this big party while Oh, we're... I don't know how big it is, Joyce. Yeah? Did you see the size of the platters? 
Lorna always included us in everything. So maybe he wants to introduce Tina to his friends first. Probably just a dry run before she meets you. Do you have my heart meds? Uh, yeah. Here. Thank you. We're gone two months and she's practically moved in. Joyce, we've been traveling 10 hours straight. What I need now is a hot shower and my own bed. I told him we were staying. Oh. We have to stay. Nona, where are you? In your dad's bedroom suites, just freshening up. Look at you, how gorgeous and grown up you are. Is it my imagination? Or have you grown a foot since I was gone? I'm going to be taller than you soon, you know. Don't get too big for your britches. Ooh, I love your necklace. Tina bought it for me. Dad didn't want to get it. He said it was way too expensive. Well, it's lovely. Do you have your school list ready? Because you know how I love taking you school shopping. I already have everything. Wow, your dad's finally gotten organized. Find that hard to believe. No, Tina took me. Oh. Yee, they're here, they're here. Nona, this is Tina. Hi, so nice to meet you. Hi, lovely to meet you too. This is Dwayne. Hi there. Hi, Tina. Hi. Hey guys, welcome back. I've got ice cream melting, so I gotta go to the kitchen. Harper, will you join me? Okay. Talk to you later. Yeah. Mm. So, um, Brock tells me that you are a lawyer. Is that what you were doing in Europe? No, we were sightseeing. I, I like to get out of the office as often as I can. Doctor's orders. Dwayne has a heart condition. Stress isn't good for him, but he loves his law practice, just like Lorna. She was the youngest lawyer to my partner at the firm. Very impressive. Yeah. Is that how you two met? Lorna invited me to an event that she chaired. She dragged me along to everything. And uh, where was that? Whittendale. Wittendale. They're both alums. So, what is it you do again? Some sort of decorating something or other? No, I am an interior designer. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? <laughs> Who needs a drink? I know yeah. I could use one. Hey. <laughs> party, party. Hey, oh my gosh, oh. I'm so glad you made it. <laughs> um, this is my sister, Ellen. Ellen, this is Joyce and Dwayne. Hi. Um, Dwayne is an attorney, and oh. Ellen's in paralegal. Cowgirl and Chase. Ah, any thoughts about law school? Oh, yeah. More school and ridiculous loans. <laughs> 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 my firm specializes in financial services. So to be honest, not really my cup of tea. Well, Chester and Field has a very strong uh, criminal defense department, if you're interested. Thank you. All right, all right, this isn't a recruiting luncheon, okay? okay. <laughs> Where would you like this wine? Uh, come with me, I'll show you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Blonde chick's got her stick up her butt. <sighs> That's Joyce, Lorna's mom. Whoa, seriously? Yeah. Yikes. Within the first minute, she made sure to tell me that Lorna was the youngest partner at her firm and mm -hmm. that she went to Wittendale. Mm -hmm. I get it must be hard meeting me, but come on. Well, you have now done your duty, and you get to sit back and enjoy the party. <sighs> Cheers. Hey, Tina, can I borrow you for a sec? Of course. Mm. Well, Tina, uh, this is Petra. Hi! Oh. Hi! I've heard a lot about you. Likewise. Dad, can you help me? Uh, yeah, just a sec, hon. Um, duty calls. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Brock, here. I got your food. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. So, um, do you know Brock from med school? No, actually, Lorna and I were best friends from college. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Tina, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Uh, Brock was miserable. He could barely function when Lorna died three years ago. But he's a completely different person now, and I am eternally grateful to you for that. <sighs> oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> OK. Actually, I am in desperate need for some design advice. Oh, so. well, I'd be happy to help with that. Thank you. Petra. Joyce. How are you, sweetheart? Good. How are you? Good. Good. I was just asking Tina to weigh in on my remodel. Simon wants to keep his recliner, and I have no idea how to design a room. No, no, no. First of all, recliner and design do not belong in the same sentence. <laughs> yes, that is what I tell him, but... <laughs> Well, I need a refill. Okay. You know what you should do with that lazy boy? Hmm. Take it in the backyard and put it at the edge of the prop. <laughs> hey. Hey. How's it going? Good. Your friends are pretty great. Oh, you're pretty great with them. I'm kind of killing it, aren't I? You kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need any help out here? No, I think we're good. Hey. You know how you said that you didn't want to move in until we were ready to make a bigger commitment? Yeah. Well, I've been thinking about it. Why are we waiting? What? Let's get married. Seriously? Seriously. Look, I, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Well, I, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, too, but what about Harper? I've already talked to Harper. So what do you say? Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes. I promise I will buy you a proper ring, any kind of ring that you want. We're getting married. <laughs> Daddy, you did it! It happened! Wait, Harper! Harper! No, come here, come here, Harper! Guess what, Ellen? Tina and Daddy are getting married! She can't be serious. Uh, it's true, everyone. Uh, spur of the moment, but she said yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, Talk about a bigger commitment! You better call mom, or I'm gonna spill the beans. <laughs> well, yes. congratulations. Thank you. Come here. Ah, yeah. Take a okay. photo, take a photo. Photo. I knew being gone all summer was a big mistake. What were you gonna do, keep him on a leash? I never said he shouldn't date, did I? Getting engaged after three months? Nona, what's wrong? Nothing, sweets. Go get your PJs. Where's Dad? He's dropping off Tina. He'll be back soon. OK. It's fast. I agree. I mean, if he were single, fine. But he has a child, my granddaughter, who's looking out for her. Hey, guys. Where's Harper? She's changing for bed. Oh, that's good. It's quite a party, bro. I'm going to get started on the dishes. Listen, Joyce, I, uh, I know this is a lot to take in. Honestly, I, I didn't plan on proposing today. Tina seems like a very sweet girl. Don't get me wrong. But to make a lifelong commitment now? How old do you really know someone after three months? Well, it's been six months. I mean, I didn't want to make it public until I knew that we were serious. Three, six. Come on, Brock. You and Lorna were together for two years before you got engaged. That was different. <laughs> yes, it was different. Because you didn't have Harper to consider. Tina is great with Harper. They get along really, really well. What happens when there's a new child in the mix? Have you discussed that? Another child? What child, Joyce? A baby, Brock. Tina could decide that she wants one. Tina's having a baby, Dad? No, Tina is not having a baby. Listen, I cannot get into this right now. I gotta get Harper to bed. Kiddo, school tomorrow, we're going to bed. I want Nona to put me to bed. Nona has to go home. Don't be silly. I miss my girl. You go uh, help Dwayne with the dishes. Okay. Let's get
get you in bed. All right, let's take off this pretty necklace. We don't want it to break. Okay, Nona. There we go. What is going on with this dresser? I had everything organized before I left. Nona, if Tina has a baby, that means I have a new sister or brother, right? Yes, that's right. But if she does have a new baby, you will always be my number one. You mean Tina will be too busy to take care of me? Well, newborns are a lot of work and Tina's baby will be hers. Just like you are your mama's baby and mine. But you'll always have me. And if you ever need to talk, just call me anytime, okay? Our secret, okay? Okay, now say goodnight to your mama. Good night, mama. I love you. Miss you every day, sweet angel. How are you gonna handle all the wedding planning with your new business? I don't know. I'll work it out. I promise I won't buy a wedding dress without you, okay? Well, I should hope not. It may be my one chance, or my only chance. I heard that, Mo. All right, I gotta go. Brock's got early morning rounds, and I have to take Harper to school. And apparently deal with my client, who thinks that the workday starts at 7. Send Brock my love and my congratulations. I love you. Bye. Bye, Mom. She wasn't listening. Sorry. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, Brock's on his way out. I know. That's why I'm here, to take Harper to school. You're taking Harper to school? Morning. Morning. Tina, did you bring my sneakers? You know I did. Should we try them on, make sure they fit? Brock, I thought I was taking Harper to school. It's been our routine. Oh, uh, we're trying to build a new routine so that Tina and Harper can bond. But you might like to have your mornings back. Oh, Brock, being a mother is more than just showering a child with gifts. It's a big responsibility. She's, uh, she's new to this. Her heart's in the right place. They fit great. Thanks, Tina. Hey, T. Here is Harper's new calendar for school. Can you put it up on the fridge in place of the old one? Of course. All right. Bye, Dad. Bye, bye. I'll see you tonight. Cool. Joyce? All right. Did you get you ready for school? Yeah. Cool. What'd you have for breakfast? Cereal. What did you have? Um, coffee. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, just dealing with a needy client. Um, Harper, what do you want for lunch? Lunch? It's already packed. Oh, thank you. And don't forget your smoothie sweets. Guess what, Nona? Tina says they have amazing papaya smoothies in Hawaii. Dad and Tina are going to take me. Well, you've already been to Hawaii with your mother, Harper. I have? Yeah, when you were a little girl. Well, that just means you get to go twice. Lucky you. Uh, go grab your books. We gotta hit the road. Look, I, I know you're busy. If, if you want me to take her to school, I am happy to. It's all under control. Thank you. Harper, let's go! Ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not going anywhere with your hair looking like that, young lady. I already brushed it, Nona. Well, not enough, clearly. There we go. OK. I forgot my necklace. Uh, go get it. Hurry, please. Can you believe this whole thing? This is why Brock needs a woman like you in the house. Thanks for packing her lunch. Yeah. Tina, I can't find the necklace you gave me anywhere. OK, well, you know what? We're just going to have to find it later, because we got to go. Yeah, go, go. I'll lock up. 
Bye, Nona. Bye. Have a good day. I'm just saying something's off about her. But she's super controlling, that's for sure. I think she's just always been a part of Harper's life. You think? Well, Brock doesn't like to talk about it, and I hate asking, so, you know, what do you do? Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. He was feeling that. Dude. What? Look, the fact is, she lost her only daughter in a car accident. That's enough to make anyone crazy. Yes, that is tragic. Look, this is your marriage, and you've got to set boundaries. I did. This morning, I told her I would continue to take Harper to school. She backed off a little. I still think you should say something to Brock about it. Mm. So I can come across as the needy a-hole trying to get rid of his late wife's mother? No. Brock hates trauma. She's a part of Harper's life, and I just have to deal with it. Good luck. Mm. Dwayne, I think you're being ridiculous. I really don't see what the issue is. I just don't think we should be meddling in their relationship. How long have you known him? Have you ever known him to be this impulsive? I mean, think about it. This is a man that takes seven months to plan a three-day vacation. That's true. A quick background check is all I'm asking, just to be safe. Can you have that investigator you use? For very specific work purposes. If anything ever happened to her? Would you ever be able to forgive yourself? Fine. I'll call Grant. Okay. Thank you. Do you want some more salad, Harper? Yes, please. Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. So I reserve the moving truck for the end of the month. Which means that you have to clear out the hallway closet to make some space for Tina, OK? OK, Dad. And maybe we can figure out something to do with those boxes of nail polish and lip gloss that are in there. Hey, a girl needs to pamper herself. Oh, no. Preteen already? Ew. Speaking of which, after my lunch with Ellen, I found this cute store and got you something. Do you like it? I figured it was time to replace your old one. You threw out my brush? Well, the handle was really worn and it was missing bristles. You shouldn't have done that! It wasn't yours! Hey, hey, Harper. Harper, she didn't know. Harper! What did I do? It was Lorna's. Oh, my God. I'm gonna go talk to her. Just, maybe, just take it easy on the gifts for a little while. Harper? She's finally asleep. I'm really sorry. I. We'll never do anything like that again. Do you think I should 
Say something to her in the morning? Mm, Nana, just leave it. She knows you didn't do it on purpose. I just don't want to mess anything up. You know, I'm not the girlfriend to goof around with anymore. We're, we're getting married. She wants this. She does, trust me. Really? Yeah. She, she's crazy about you. I hear that that runs in the family. Yeah. What is this? Mm, what? This picture. What is this? It's from a trip we took to Kauai. What is it doing here? I've never seen this before. I don't know. Maybe Harper put it there. I can't get rid of all of our pictures, Tina. I know. I know. I would never ask you to do that. Ever. I I just, I don't know where your line is sometimes. <laughs> you never talk about your feelings. I didn't know we were talking about our feelings. I thought we were. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. I am spent. Can we just go to bed? Harper, what's wrong? Nora? I can't sleep. What is it, sweets? You talk to Nona. All right. I packed you an extra fruit roll-up so you could trade. Thanks. Harper. You need to get dressed. It's almost eight. I am dressed. It's the drama day. It's on the calendar. Oh. Well, good. Did you brush your teeth? Yeah. All right. Let's get going. Can Dad take me? Hey, Tina's going to take you. You never take me anymore, please, Dad. You can take her. It's OK. You sure? Yeah. But you better get going. You're going to be late. Hey. Bye, Tina. Bye. Bye, Tina. OK. Got it. No, that should just about do it. Yeah. Thanks, Grant. Well, what do you say? She's clean. Nothing at all? Nothing except for a few photos he found online of her sunbathing. Nude photos. This is not porn, dear. Grant thinks that a vindictive ex must have put them up. He needs to send them now. So I'm thinking probably a week for the initial design, and then we can meet in person to go over it. Great. What day? Yeah, does Saturday work for you? Yeah. OK. Um. Let me get back to you about a time, okay? Okay, I'm excited. Great, I'm excited too, Louie. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hey, babe, what's up? It's not pajama day. What? Yeah, we showed up and Harper was literally the only kid in pajamas. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna give them hell for putting the wrong day on the calendar. Um, uh, I'm sorry, that might actually be my fault. But I thought I, I gave you the new one. You did. But I was frazzled getting Harper out the door, and I might have left a new one on the counter. Do you want me to run home and get her some new clothes? No, no. The teacher had her put on her gym clothes. Hey, look, these things happen. 
they do, but they're important. Ten-year-olds are very self-conscious. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, hey, I've got to jump. Can I give you a call later? Okay. Bye. Stranger. Hey, you staying for dinner? Yeah, these boxes aren't gonna pack themselves. I will order Chinese. Damn, girl. At that rate, you're not getting out of here until next Christmas. Yeah, well, the way things have been going the past week, maybe that's just a better idea. Stop trying to bribe Harper with gifts and you'll be fine. Okay, for the record, Joyce held up the brush and said, can you believe this old thing? That's why Brock needs a girl like you around the house. Uh huh. And you, desperate to be the perfect stepmom, ran out and got her a new one. Oh my God, she set me up. I bet she knew it was Lorna's brush, and she knew how Harper would react. Seriously, that is that is just psycho. Yeah. Yeah. Brock is gonna hear about this one. Where would we have the ceremony? Well, we could set up a trellis over there. Works for me. What do you think? Oh, I love it. I don't have to keep looking. Me neither. But I'm not waiting 18 months to marry you. Well, the only other option they have is six weeks from now. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So you realize a lot of people probably won't be able to make it on such short notice. Good. I was hoping for a small wedding. Um, I guess I should move the tastings. Can you do Saturday morning before my meeting with Libby? Yeah, morning's great. I don't have to be in the clinic until afternoon. OK. I'll set something up for Harper. I think Joyce already set up a play date with Amber's mom. anything to do with me screwing up pajama day. What are you talking about? I'm just wondering why Joyce is scheduling play dates. Joyce has always been really involved. She helps out a lot. Well, maybe if she would stop turning Harper against me, I could help out too. Hey, what's going on? She told me to throw away the hairbrush. Joyce actually told you that? No, she implied it. But look, I'm doing the best that I can to be respectful, OK? I know that she's Harper's grandma, and you're both very attached Tina. to her. But no, I know this conversation is uncomfortable, but we have to have it. Tina. What? Joyce was driving the car. What? When Lorna died truck was turning left in front of her and she tried to swerve and it was too late. And I've made peace with it as much as anyone can, but uh, Joyce. I can't imagine the guilt she must feel. She raised Lorna on her own. Men came and went, but Lorna was the only thing that mattered to her. And they had a complicated relationship. And she micromanaged Lorna's life, especially when it came to Harper. I don't, I don't think she'll ever forgive herself. Okay. I get it. I'm sorry. I'll do my best to make it work. Thank you. What are you doing here? The nurse sent me back. Um, I wanted to have a word in private. All right. Everything okay? Well, no. Harper called the other night. She was very upset. Tina thought that you said something about Harper needing a new brush. 
Do you really think I would tell her to throw Lorna's brush away? My God, Brock. Tina is sweet, but it worries me. She's easing into things. So is Harper Brock. This has been rough on her. Now you're rushing into this new marriage? Harper doesn't feel that way. Maybe she's not comfortable telling you how she really feels. All right, look, I wasn't going to say anything, but um, Dwayne thought I should mention it. He did a, a search on Tina. Why is Dwayne doing a search on Tina? Because he's a criminal defense lawyer and maybe a little on the paranoid side. But the point is, after a straightforward search, some pictures came. Yeah, so she's having fun at her sorority. Brock, you are bringing Tina into your life to raise your daughter, to be a role model. Who knows what else could be out there? All I'm asking is for you to just take a step back before making things permanent. Just really think things through. thought things through. Joyce, we're getting married. And what I need from you is your support to help make this easier on Tina. My support? You have had nothing but my support for years. School drop-off, pickups, homework, babysitting, 24-7. I know more of the moms of the kids in Harper's class than you and Lorna ever did. You have done so much, right? And I appreciate all of it. I do. Tina wants to be involved. I want her to be involved. It's so good for everybody, right? You can finally get back to being a grandmother. Joyce. Cafeteria food once in a while. A homemade lunch keeps her energy up. Her energy is fine, Mom. How would you know? You're not the one that drops her off and picks her up from school every day. I'm thinking we should change that. Maybe bring in a babysitter. You'll finally get a break. Well, you're busy in trial for six months. Do you really think this is the best thing for Harper? I am her mother. I can decide what's best for her. You are all over me about everything, ripping apart every decision I make. I have done nothing but support you. I have raised your daughter for seven years while you were busy making partner. I would never treat you like this.
you girls going? We're just gonna get a slice of pie. You know, at that new place, the one on Western. I'm not sure how long I'll be. Take your time. Okay. I just really want to support Petra. She's having a hard time with Rock moving on so quickly. Give her my regards. I will. Love you. You too. I'm looking for 22 point cliff. Joyce, hey, I'm Grant. Sorry, the streets can be a little confusing. You're the private investigator? That's what the card says. Where exactly is your office? You're looking at it. So if we knock down the south wall, I suggest that we set up a train track area to keep the kids busy and it will allow the mothers to shop. Ah, oh, brilliant. I love that idea. What about finishes? Have you given any thought to that? Yes. Um, I feel like it should be clean and modern with just like a hint of vintage, mm. but definitely kid friendly. Mm, I like it. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, excuse me just a second. Yeah, sure. Can I help you? Detective Vic Jeffers. I'm looking for Miss Tina Williams. Uh, yep, yeah, that's me. What is this regarding? You familiar with Kristen Scott? Yes, she's my old business partner. Um, is everything okay? Did something happen? We received information that you stole her identity and uh, racked up charges on her credit cards. What? That's ridiculous. She believes you did it to damage her credit and reputation. I have absolutely nothing to do with this. We're conducting a criminal investigation. I'm going to have to ask you some questions. Well, of course. Just let me finish with my client, please. No. Take your time. I need to get back to the shop anyway. I have no idea what this is about. I need to explain. Thank you. How can I help? This is Kristen. I'm not here, so please leave a message. Hi, Kristen. It's Tina. I have no idea what's going on, but I assure you I would never do anything to harm you or your business. So just uh, give me a call back. Bye. Tina Williams. It's Jamie. Amber's mom. Oh, hi, Jamie. I'm on my way. Yeah, no need. Joyce already picked Harper up. What? I couldn't reach you. I needed Harper picked up by one. Joyce told me two. Amber has a recital at two. We barely made it in time. I tried to call you earlier, but you never responded. I, I, I was in a meeting. Next time, you probably want to keep your phone close by. I always do, even when I'm in a meeting. Really? We schedule an ultrasound for Mrs. Okay. Benson, please. Thanks. Hey, hon. How was Libby? Kristen's accusing me of stealing her identity. What? I need to talk to you. This is crazy. I'll come meet you. I'm at the apartment. OK. Can you ask Dr. Chen to go before me? I need to be out the rest of the afternoon. Hey. Hi. We're back. Thanks for staying with Harper. Oh, yeah. Happy I could help. Oh. Um, it's Ellen. I gotta take this. Everything okay? She's having some issues with a former business partner who's accusing her of some pretty serious stuff. How awful. Yeah. Where's Harper? She's upstairs watching a movie. Um, I didn't know what time you'd be back, so I made dinner. <sighs> Thank you. You're a huge help. I need to be here. Well, I'm just glad I was around for the mix-up with Amber's mom. What mix-up? Tina got the time wrong, and Harper was left stranded. Well, why didn't Amber's mom call her? She did, several times. Look, I know Tina has a lot going on, but parents should know they need to be reachable no matter what. 
I'm gonna tell Harper the dinner's ready. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks, Al. Okay. I'll keep you posted. Bye. <sighs> She's gonna ask one of the lawyers at her firm to advise me. Good. Hey, I'm glad she did that for you. I don't understand why this is happening. When we split a year ago, I bent over backwards for Kristen. I took one client, she took 10. Well, so why does she think that you're trying to ruin her credit? Because she's nuts. This is why we're not working together anymore. I didn't know that you felt that way about her. I was just trying to move on and focus my energy into building my own business, you know? You believe me, right? Hey, yes. Of course, come here. Hey, it's gonna be okay. We're a team, we're gonna get through this together, all right? You did your job, you set her up, but it's still not enough. An ongoing criminal investigation and he's sticking by her. Can you believe this? You know what they say about guys. I don't need a lecture from an adolescent about the male anatomy. Wait until they press charges. That's bound to give them cold feet. The wedding is in six weeks. I don't have time to wait. What about her past relationships? Didn't you find anything on your state-of-the-art equipment here? She has had one serious relationship before your son-in-law, Chad Davis. He's an investment banker. They co-signed an apartment lease for eight years. She'd never invest that much time without a ring. Well, it ended last May. Although, it seems he kept his name on her car lease. Hmm. So maybe he's holding out hope. Hmm. Is Tina headed to the office today? Mm. She's gotta get some paperwork together for the lawyer. Thing. Well, why don't you stop by and bring her some cookies on your way in? Cheer her up. Yeah, I could do that. It's very sweet of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. Huh. Uh -huh. Hey, be good for Nona. Don't worry, Dad. I will. Bye, Joyce. Bye. Here, you keep stirring. I've got to make a quick call. Yep. It's Joyce. She's in the office. Go ahead and send the email now. Okay. I'm on it. All righty. Let's add the nuts. Let me get this straight. I have to hire a cyber expert to prove something that I didn't do? Does that make sense? You want to stay out of jail. Trust me, I don't want to go to jail either, but fine. Add it to my tab. Thanks, Jim. Bye. Tina. Chad. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the area meeting a client. Can I have a word? Fine. Wow. <laughs> the space looks great. It's a work in progress. Why are you here? I had a lot of time to think over the summer about us. And I'm the one that got away, and you always want what you can't have. And I was an idiot. I'm engaged. I'm aware. And I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I had a good shot. I know things aren't great. But who told you that? Ellen. Ellen? Brock. Hey, what's up? I'm Chad. Okay, I guess I'll see myself out. Hey, nice to meet you, man. I didn't ask him to come here. He just showed up. You're telling people that things aren't great with us? I vented 
to Ellen one time. That's it. My life is uh, complicated. And that's a lot to take on with Harper. You don't think I can handle Harper? I think she's a big responsibility. If this is about that play date, if I knew I had to be there at one, I never would have agreed to pick her up. It was right in the middle of my meeting with Libby and I. I messed up. I'm not beating you up over that. Come on, you have 10 years experience on me. Tina, do you really want this? Of course I want this. Now the question is whether or not you want this. You know, sometimes I wonder if this whole thing is moving so fast, because if you paused for a second, you'd... Miss Lorna? Yeah. I do. Every day. But I need to get on with my life. She want me to be happy, and... You make me happy. So, why have you been talking to Chad? I have not talked to Chad. I have zero interest in speaking to Chad. Look, I have a police detective breathing down my neck, and now Brock is wondering whether or not I'm fit to raise a child. Okay, I cannot deal with this right now. I swear to you, I have not spoken to Chad since you guys broke up. Then why would he say that you did? Because he's a manipulative jerk. He knows exactly how to get to you. He always has, and he always will. Why now? He found a lot of congratulatory posts about your engagement. You guys still have a lot of mutual friends. Yeah, that's true. Unfriend them immediately. What I don't understand is while Chad was at my office, Brock showed up with a tin of homemade cookies. Brock made cookies? That is weird. <laughs> no. Joyce and Harper did. No. Joyce. Again. Wait, you think Joyce set this up too? I can't say anything about it to Brock until I have proof. I'm sure as hell I'm not talking to Chad about it. I'll talk to Chad. Really? You owe me. Mom! There she is, the bride. <laughs> I am right here, woman. Oh. Oh, you look gorgeous. Thanks. Oh, no. No, there's no way I'm letting you spend $4,000 on a wedding dress. Oh, honey, it'll probably be the only time I get to do it. <laughs> From your mouth to God's ears. Now this, this is a bridesmaid's dress I can wear again. No, that mm -hmm. yellow stealing my thunder. Hello, oh. 10, 9.8. We're good. Oh. Is that where you keep your phone? Yeah, it's close. Ew. Okay, news on the chat front. What? You are not talking to Chad. No, I'm not. Ellen is. I'm hooking up with him. Oh, what? I'm kidding. Well, what does it? Okay, he, had, he said he, of course, deleted the email thread with fake Ellen. Damn it. Yeah. He said the email looked totally legit, had my law firm name and everything. Uh, what is this email exchange? What are you up to, girls? It, it just has to do with her psycho in-law. All right, you listen to me. You have got to stop this psycho in-law business all day long, I've been hearing nothing but digs against this poor woman. You want to get along? You have to make nice nice. <laughs> I'm serious, girls. Mom, this situation's way more complicated than you think. Leave it to me. 
Ugh, where are they? Hey, guys! Hi, sweetie. Mwah. You must be Joyce. You know, I told Tina, even though I'm only going to be here for a day, I simply must meet Joyce. So glad you did. Oh, and you must be Harper. You're Tina's mom? Uh-huh. And mine. Uh, table's ready, guys. Good. Oh. Hungry? Yeah. Oh, good. Why don't you sit right next to me? There you go. Uh. Don't you just love this place? The girls always bring me here when I visit. Oh, before I forget, I have a little surprise here for Harper. A chocolate pen? Uh-huh. Amber has one, too. I've always wanted one of these. Look, Nona. Well, it's a hit. Oh, my granddaughters turned me on to them. They can't wait to meet you. They're going to be your new cousins. I'm going to have cousins, Nona. I've never had cousins before. Well, then maybe you could spend the summer with us. <laughs> with my cousins? With your cousins and uncles and aunties. And my new grandma. Aww. Petra? <laughs> hey, how hey. are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Too. Listen, I wanted to tell you, Joyce has really enjoyed spending time with you. I think it's been good for her. She's set a struggle with how quickly Brock has moved on. You two had coffee together a couple of weeks ago and dessert the other night? No. No, gosh, I haven't seen Joyce since the party. Really? Yeah, is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything's great. Okay. Good to see you. <laughs> We'll give Joyce my love. I will. All right, take care, Dwayne. See you later. So good we had time to meet Joyce. Yes. Well, we should get you home, sweets. But I want to go to the airport with Grandma. Oh, uh, Nona wants to take you home. You'll see me next time, sweetheart. But that's not until the wedding. I know. Excuse me, it's a lawyer. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Hey, Jim, how's it going? Please, I want to come with you. I know. Um, okay. Just keep me posted. Bye. Well, the cyber expert tracked down the IP address used to send the threatening email to Kristen. Coffee shop on the west side. OK. I mean, at least that'll get the police off your back. I mean, she's got a vendetta. She'll just say, I use my personal laptop. It, this is ridiculous. You need to get a better lawyer. And Ellen, is this really the best that you can do? The best that I could do is have Dwayne's firm represent her. I mean, they're the best criminal defense team in the city. Oh. <laughs> Dwayne takes on much bigger cases. Corporate cases. You know, he strikes me as the type that would stick his neck out. You can't talk to a partner? Well, I'll certainly ask. Thank you, Joyce. Well, you need to go. You need to get to the airport. Please. OK. Give your Nona a hug. Thank you, Nona. You're welcome. All right, we got to go. Joyce, I ran into Petra today. She said she hasn't met with you for pie or coffee. I'm going to take a bath. Grant called me. He told me you'd been meeting with him. 
Well, you weren't going to do anything. Damn it, Joyce. Why can't you just let this go? You mean just stand by and watch her take Harper away from me? I knew this was going to happen from the very beginning, as soon as she entered the picture. You have got to go to the police. With all her niceness and sweet smiles, go hug your Nana, like I am some kind of charity case. Joyce, you have got to come forward. She's facing all kinds of serious charges. You were always on her side. I'm on the side of the law. Joyce. Damn it, Joyce. If you don't go to the police, I will. And who's going to think that I could do this on my own? You're the one with the contacts. Your name was all over my emails to Grant. You could be disbarred, lose your license, or worse. What the hell is wrong with you? <coughs> I need a pill. <coughs> Hurry. Time to delete all the mutual friends with Chad. More notification on his page. My true love now and forever. What? Hey, Harper's asking for a good night kiss. What's going on? I'm confused. Are we getting married too soon? Hey. We've been through this. Yeah, but your post makes me think otherwise. My post? On Lorna's memorial page. Look, if you need more time, then you should take it. I, I did not post that. No, I, I did, like, two years ago, but I didn't repost it. Well, then who did? Harper? Oh, Harper doesn't know about this page. But Joyce does. Joyce doesn't have access to my account. Well, maybe she got a hold of your iPad or something. <laughs> How? She didn't have my passcode. Well, I, I, then she found another way. I don't know what to tell you. Look, she doesn't want me around. What? Tina... Uh, Joyce is just worried about Harper. Right. And I can never fill the shoes of her perfect daughter. Hey, I get it. I know Joyce can be a bit much. She's Harper's grandmother. I'm trying to make this whole thing work here for Harper's sake. Can you just roll with me a little bit on this, please? Please? to take this. I'm on call. Hello? Joyce? What's wrong? I think it's oh, God, hurry. Yeah, I'll be right there. Uh, Joyce thinks that Dwayne is having a heart attack. I'll be back uh, soon.
it true? One pill would have saved him? Maybe you could have bought him a little more time. I looked everywhere for the pills. I couldn't find them anywhere. I don't, I don't think I want to be alone right now. Would, would you mind staying with me for a while? Yeah, of course. I'll stay. I'll stay. Thank you. Whoa, kiddo, let me help you. I got it, Dad. You take one side. Come on, muscles. <sighs> Poor Dwayne. So sad, he was such a nice man. I can't believe he's gone. The weird thing is they don't know what happened to his nitroglycerin pills. It's like they just vanished. And Brock called the pharmacy. He had them refilled last week. And once again, the common denominator is... No, 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 no. Don't say it. Hey, Tina, were we putting the dresser again? Uh, hang on one sec! My advice to you is after the wedding, get as far away from that woman as you possibly can. Like, out of the city. I'm already looking at houses in Palmdale. <sighs> hey, T! I'm coming! All right. Come on, girls, we gotta focus. Ellen, what did you do with Tina's shoes? I gave them to Tina. You did? Uh, Ellen, the bride should not be worrying about her shoes. You are the maid of honor. Never mind, I found them. <laughs> Demote me, okay? No, Tina! You are not doing business on your wedding day. It's a lawyer, I have to answer. Will you get my makeup in the bathroom, please? Hi, Jim. Oh my gosh, really? Absolutely. That's the greatest news ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Best wedding present of all time. <laughs> Have a good one. Okay, I'll be in touch. Bye. They found the person who stole Kristen's identity. Oh honey, that is great news. Yeah, get this, her name is Delilah Jenner and she's already in prison. Wait, but how can she steal your identity if she's in jail? I don't know. Or send a threatening email from a coffee shop. I don't know. I'll have to ask the cyber guy after the wedding. <gasps> unless, oh. unless she partnered with somebody on the outside. Come on, girls. We have to focus. We're not going to make it to the salon. You know what? You guys go on without me. But I forgot to get Tina something borrowed. I, you realize this now? Your appointment is in 30 minutes. You know Go ahead and cancel it. I'll, I'll go with all natural beach waves. Oh, once again. Hey, is everything okay? Everything's totally fine. I'll just meet you guys at the venue. Okay. Mama. I'm not demoting her. I'm firing her. Second degree grand larceny, assault with a deadly weapon, carjacking. <laughs> That's downright thugger. You are supposed to be a much more sophisticated hacker. That's weird. Hi, it's Ellen. Hey. Hey, um, I'm not in the office and I can't get on the server. Is there any way that you could check the name of the attorney that represented a Delilah Jenner? Who is that, right? Mm -hmm. March 23rd, 2014. That was Dwayne Galbert? Holy. Anything wrong? No, um, that, that's exactly what I needed. Thank you so much. This is Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Big day, huh? Oh, hello, Ellen. Yes, it is. Hey, um, I've got a little... Something I was wanting to give Harper after the ceremony, and I could really use your input. Is there any way you could stop by my apartment right now? My mom and my sister are at the salon. Well, can't this wait till after the wedding? Please, you know, we can't talk about this anywhere near my mom, because she's going to want to put her two cents in. 
You're the only one who really knows Harper. Well, I, I'm, I'm still getting ready, but I'll be over as soon as I can. Thanks, Joyce. Do you think Ellen's here? I didn't see her car outside. Tina, let's stop worrying about that. The photographer is here, and we're way behind schedule. Now get up those stairs. Move, Mom. move, move. Thank you for stopping by. Come in. May I offer you a glass of wine? Don't we have to be at pictures soon? Oh, we've got a few minutes, and I'm in a celebratory mood. What do you say? Uh, not for me, but feel free. Lovely view. Can't complain. So, what is this uh, special surprise that you have for Harper? Now, before we get to that, I was curious. Did you ever have a chance to talk to anyone at Dwayne's firm? You know, about representing Tina? Considering everything that's going on, it's been hard. Of course, I figured. You know, I discovered that there was a conflict of interest anyway. As it turns out, Dwayne represented the felon that set up Tina and made it look like she had stolen her business partner's identity. I have no idea what you're talking about. A felon who also happens to be in jail. Though, I guess, if there was access to the felon's files, then all of the information that you would need would be right there. I wouldn't know. I don't know anything about computers. Right. Do you know who probably would know, though? Dwayne. Oh, wait. He's dead, isn't he? And you took care of that didn't you? You got rid of all of his pills. You are a vicious, ugly person. And I don't have to stand here and subject myself to your horrible lies. You have made my sister's life a living hell. And as hard as you have tried to ruin her relationship with Brock, you failed. They're getting married, and you are stuck with that. So here's what you're going to do. Admit to Tina that you set her up, and you will have a shot at maintaining a relationship with Harper and Brock. Otherwise, I'll keep digging. And maybe I can't prove right now how you were involved, but I promise you that I will. It's up to you, Joyce. idea what it's been like losing my daughter and watching while everyone else's lives go on without her. My baby. My everything. I need help. You do. Do you think you can help me? Please, Ellen, please. Please, do you think you can help me? Please, yes, yes. please. Yes, yes. Thank you. Still no answer. This is getting ridiculous. Mm -mm.
Excuse me. Special request from the bride. Would you mind bringing it to her? I have to assist an elderly guest. Ellen! Sorry, I thought you were my sister. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what I need. Oh, absolutely not. The first champagne on your wedding day should be with your groom. Could you please take this downstairs? Thank you. Joyce! Maricela's bringing you a champagne. Looks like you could use it. How did you know? Nothing? She hasn't even checked her messages. I'm sure there's an explanation. Mom, I can't get married without her. Well, then, uh, everyone will just have to wait. Is Ellen here? Has she come yet? No, I haven't seen her. This is not like her. It's not answering her phone. Maybe there was an accident. Okay, uh, hey, give me a second. Let me call the hospital, okay? Petra? Could you take Harper, please? Hey, Maria, this is Dr. Nichols. Hey, can you do me a favor and let me know if an Ellen Williams was admitted today? Thanks. She was. Can you put me on with Dr. Sanders? Great. Ellen! You have her phone. Where is she? What did you do? Me, no! You have to be in control! Don't you? That's how it was with Lorna! You have no idea what you're talking about! She couldn't stand it either! Hey, Steve, it's Dr. Nichols. Can you give me an update on an Ellen Williams?
think she did something to Ellen. Oh, sweetheart. She's gonna be okay. Ellen's gonna be okay. <sighs> Thanks, Judge. Thanks. We couldn't be happier. Okay, right there. Right there. Oh, that is the perfect picture. <laughs> Tina, you have to do it now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look how well that came out. Oh, oh, that's the next prize. Okay, I did not catch that. <laughs> you on the head. That still counts. No. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be buying another wedding dress. Yes. <laughs> so who's up for some brunch? Let's get pancakes. Ooh, I could definitely go for some pancakes with strawberries. Ooh, and whipped cream. <laughs> Nona loves blueberries on her pancakes. Nona gets plenty of blueberries at her new home. Come on. Well, I'm hungry. I have one daughter. She is brilliant. She'll come by soon. She was one of the youngest lawyers to make partner at the firm. Did I ever mention that to you before? A few times. Let's get you back to bed, OK, Mrs. Miller? Of course. I always make sure she had a substantial lunch. None of that school cafeteria garbage that they fed the poor children. You don't know it's enough food. Could be rice poisoning. Could be crushed glass. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs>